Do I look comfortable right now? I bet I don't. It's because I'm not. But here's the truth. Everything that you want in life is on the other side of hard work. I am constantly running into opposition. All that people see is the successful side, but they don't see the things that you have to do when you get kicked in the nuts, like losing your microphone. I'm using this microphone today because we lost our microphone on a trip to Destin, Florida. Don't know where it went, if it went in the Uber ride or the Lyft ride or the plane, but it's gone. So today I'm making some uh, adjustments. I'm pushing through the uncomfortableness and I'm gonna knock out a video that's gonna hopefully change your life. Because as an entrepreneur, I truly believe that entrepreneurship is the greatest path to self-improvement and what would improvement be without opposition. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this. One of the things that I wanna start this video by saying is this is not a self-help video. Again, this is not a self-help video. It's a self-success video. I wanted to make this video because I have constantly run across entrepreneur after entrepreneur who are not happy with where they're at in their career, whether it's money, fulfillment, burnout, whatever that is, I run into these people all the time. And it's because they choose to put their value in comfort versus discomfort. And I'm one of those, and we're gonna talk about that today. It's really important that you start to step outside of that comfort zone and start going after the discomfort. Uh, I had some life-changing transformations that happened to me in Florida, and I'm gonna talk about that in another video. But this video is really important that you understand stepping outside of your comfort zone is essential to growth. So I wanna read you a quick quote by Henry Cavill. This is a great quote, and it goes, uh, Henry Cavill says, comfort is a drug, it's addictive. Give a weak man regular sex, good food, and cheap entertainment, and he will throw his ambitions right out the window. The comfort zone is where your dreams go to die. That is one of the most powerful statements I've seen. And after just experiencing what I experienced last week, which I'll share with you in future videos, I know that every time I've gotten comfortable in any particular place of my life, it's where I've actually moved backwards in my life. And I don't wanna live a life halfway or even 90%. I wanna live a life of 100%. So it's really important that you take this to heart. Living outside of your comfort zone is the way you're gonna get the most amount of growth. So I have a quick question. Are you part of the majority of society that values their comfort over discomfort, they focus on Netflix, they focus on having fun, they focus on drinking and partying with their friends. What category are you in? Maybe it's not as complicated or as lazy or as uh, free spirited as that, but maybe you just have one thing in your life like I did where I was slacking off in my fitness. If you do, I wanna hear about it. I'm sure everybody has something, but let's get some accountability. So drop a comment down below. I wanna hear from you. What is that one thing that is slowing you down from getting the success that you truly want? So another thing I wanted to tell you is age is a terrible excuse. It's not an excuse. If you're young and you think that you have plenty of time to be comfortable and have fun and enjoy your life and live it in this comfort place where you can just Netflix and video game all day, you're wrong. And if you're, you're old and you think that you've already earned this comfort that you're supposed to be gonna have in your retirement, you're even more wrong. Life is meant to be lived to the absolute fullest. And when you accept comfort into your life, you're accepting mediocrity. And for me, that's unacceptable. So I have a question. Are you the kind of person that likes to take nice, warm, or hot showers like me? Probably, I think the majority of society does. When's the last time you actually took a cold shower? The actual health benefits that you could get from a cold shower, far superior to what you would get in a warm shower or a hot shower. And so it's not about being tough, but it's about getting control over your mind, and over your body, and pushing yourself beyond your limits, beyond that comfort zone, and learning how to actually breathe correctly and have control over feeling cold. And it's just about reaching the highest potential in your life. So if you're finding this content helpful, I know it's gonna be a shorter piece today, but I would really appreciate you dropping a like on it, dropping a subscribe button on there so you can get updates of all of our content. We do different types of content, stuff like this, stuff like training, but this is really important to me. I wanted to help you guys really step outside of your comfort zone and start to push the limits of what you think you're even capable of. So the last thing that I really wanted to mention I wanna send home with you is it's time for you to take a really hard look in the mirror in all the different aspects of your life and ask yourself, am I living up to my full potential? Am I doing the things required to get the outcome that I want from my life? And maybe you're not clear about what you want from your life, but it's really important that you get clear and that you spend as much time as possible figuring out what that is. Whatever it's gonna take for you to get to that point, that's what you need to invest your time into and get uncomfortable. Put yourself into situations like having to spend money on a coach or a mentor or some sort of program to find what it is that you're really after in life and that's gonna help you bring some clarity and that's gonna help you reach your full potential. 
One of the hard facts that a lot of people suffer with in business is realizing that they're gonna come up against opposition. A lot of business owners start their businesses, face opposition within their first month, two months, six months, year. In fact, I think 90% of businesses don't succeed within their first five years. All these businesses fail, why? Because of opposition. It may be in their sales, it may be in fulfillment, dealing with clients, and they somehow give up on their dream and they go back to working a nine to five. And that is not what you are here for. You are here, you are watching this video, you've taken the time to invest in yourself, to make the agreement with yourself to push past opposition, push past the fear of taking a cold shower or doing cold water immersion or going and working your body to the point where you feel like you're gonna throw up. I am doing those things now in my own life. I'm taking responsibility for those things because my success, not just in my life, but in my business is dependent upon it. So I really want you to face the, face the music, Take a hard look at yourself and really ask yourself if you're doing everything in your life possible to step out of your comfort zone. And if you're not, then you need to get around a group of people that are. And that's why I wanna personally invite you to the Instagraphics Pro Network. We are a group of the best designers on the planet. And we have an event coming up, which we're gonna be talking about in future videos. We've talked about in past videos, and I would love to have you. So make sure you join the group. It's easy to find on Facebook. It's called the Instagraphics Pro Network, and I would love to see you guys there. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. I'm Adrian Boisel, and as always, keep looking up.